Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. I believe mathematics is the best exercise for the brain. So let's do it. Today we are going to solve a question of CSIR Net Mathematics December 2019 Part B Real Analysis. The question is let xn for n greater than equals to 1 be a sequence of non-negative real numbers. Then which of the following is true? Option A. Limit infimum xn is equal to 0 implies limit xn square is equal to 0. Option B. Limit supremum xn is equal to 0 implies limit xn square is equal to 0. Option C. Limit infimum xn is equal to 0 implies xn is bounded. And option D. Limit infimum xn square is greater than 4 implies limit supremum xn is greater than 4. We will solve this question by giving counter example to each option. Solution For option A, limit infimum xn is equal to 0 implies limit xn square is equal to 0 and option C, limit infimum xn is equal to 0 implies xn is bounded. Consider a sequence xn equals to 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 and so on. Then limit infimum xn is equals to 0. But limit n tends to infinity xn is equals to infinity which implies limit n tends to infinity xn square is also equals to infinity. Therefore option A is false. Also we can clearly see that xn is not bounded. Therefore option C is also false. Now for option D, limit infimum xn square is greater than 4 implies limit supremum xn is greater than 4. Consider a constant sequence xn is equal to 3, 3, 3 and so on. We get xn square is equal to 9, 9, 9 and so on. Then limit infimum of xn square is equal to 9 which is greater than 4. But Limit supremum of xn is equal to 3 which is not greater than 4. Therefore option D is also false. Now for option B. Limit supremum xn is equal to 0 implies limit xn square is equal to 0. We need to study a result for this. The result is limit supremum mod xn is equal to 0 if and only if limit xn is equal to 0. Here xn is greater than or equal to 0 that are non-negative terms. Therefore, mod of xn can be replaced by xn. Therefore, we get limit x supremum xn is equal to 0 if and only if limit xn is equal to 0. Give this equation number 1. Also, we know that limit xn is equal to 0 implies limit xn square is equal to 0. Give this equation number 2. From equation 1 and 2, we get limit supremum xn is equal to 0 implies limit xn square is equal to 0. Therefore, option B is true. Thank you. Check out other videos in the series over here.